Gonna be worried about height. Way to let air out of these shocks. That was impressive. So right now, how it sits, too high. But if your power lines out, I care about you very, very much. Will he make it? Ooh, we're getting tight over here, boys. All right, I got a heck of a show for you guys today. We've got to take one of these vehicles down to FitCon. Which one do you think it is? Da -da 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 -da. Freedom bus. Very oversized load and way too tall to haul. So we gotta figure out how to get it down there. Heck of a show. We got Alan, we got Skeeter, we got Hans. We've got Heavy D on board. All hands on deck to get this thing down to FitCon. It's gonna be awesome. Loading up the monster bus now. Will he make it? Ooh, we're getting tight over here, boys. As you can see, the side of the wall has been hit before. I don't think I hit anything today. I thought I was going to make it. Did you think Skeeter was going to make that with that pass or not? Do you think he's going to have to back up? I knew he had it. Which one are you taking? The Brodozer, the Freedom Bus, or the Sisu Natsu? Jeremy. Yeah. Apocalypse. Which one are you taking? I'm taking the Sisu Natsu. Really? Yep. Why? I can float. I can go anywhere in that thing. All right. All right, Tyson. Apocalypse time. What are we taking? What kind of apocalypse are we talking? They're zombies. Oh, There's... this for sure then. Really? Oh, yeah. Your brodozer is your zombie killer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy said the Sisu Natsu because it was amphibious. He'd be able to float away from zombies. It's not very fast, though. Yeah. He might get overtaken. We're talking legend zombies. like Walking Dead Zombies. Because <laughs> Legend it's, it's Zombies. Legend Zombies this. Yeah. Walking Dead, probably that. Might oh. be loading up the Millennium Falcon. It's <laughs> <laughs> not an option now. Listen, those are both good choices. Jeremy Sisu's cool, Tyson Brodo's is cool. But in a zombie apocalypse, I'm taking the Freedom Bus because I'll be high off the ground where the zombies can't get me. Your monster truck tires are gonna make you float. And look at all the real estate I have for friends and family. Thank God for rednecks! Plus, I've already installed the most important piece of equipment that you're gonna need during a zombie apocalypse, and it's the quad lock system. You simply just mount your phone wherever you need it, whenever you want it, and you can focus on getting past those zombies because during a zombie apocalypse, you don't wanna have to fumble with your phone. You gotta be able to look at directions, go get the zombies, and get out, and that's why I want to thank Quadlock for sponsoring the video today because without them, <laughs> I'd be lost in the zombie apocalypse. Literally, I'd lose the phone, I'd get lost on the map, zombies would overtake me, and then I would become a zombie and I would get you and I would already know what their plans are with the Sisunas and the Brodozer, so I'd get them. But that's besides the point. Let's get back to Quadlock. Quadlock has mounts for any vehicle, which means Jeremy, you'll be fine with the quad lock and your Sisunasu. Tyson, you'll have yours in the Brodozer. I'll have mine in my American flag Freedom Bus. But you, no matter what vehicle you take, quad lock has got a bunch of different products. You're in a motorcycle, you're in an airplane, you're in a bus, you're in a boat, whatever, quad lock has a mount for you. So what I would do is go ahead and click the link in the description below and get yourself a quad lock because you're gonna need it when those zombies come a knocking. Please don't lose these keys. Like you, you lost my keys. I know. I'm sorry. Huh? Am I gonna ever hear the end of that one? <laughs> I, I still keep my eyes open. And still. You lost my keys. You lost my keys. <laughs> I've never seen a more disappointed look. <laughs> I'll try not to lose these keys. <laughs> Here we go. This is my first time driving this thing. Really? Yeah, I haven't ever started or moved it or nothing. All right, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll see how many cars I crush on the way out. Why did the Freedom Bus cross the road? <laughs> to see what was on the other side. What's on the other side? Causing quite the traffic jam out here. I'm sorry, Woods Cross City. You don't want to run those boards. No, I'm talking the big. Oh, on the side. Okay. Probably didn't need to run those boards. We ran on the snow cap. Uh -oh. The big old timber. I don't think there's enough ground clearance. Enough yeah, you'd be like more than... See, so wide. And when hauling really wide stuff, the way we're doing it, you want as much of that tire on the deck as possible. 
So, with these trailers, look these handy damn dogs out. And we run like big like crane mats right here, railroad type, type of stuff. Widens open. Widens up the trailer. You don't want to move all these cars. Really? Yeah. Why? Okay, Matt, you're gonna want to come in from the side. Oh, okay. So we have the big forklift here or no? All we have is the uh the telehandler on need side. I'll get these cars moved. Tell these owners these cars for the stuff. <laughs> what is this parking lot? Wednesday, baby. Park like Ex a, explain yeah, Wednesdays. 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 You park like a complete idiot on Wednesdays. So I don't get the memo about the idiot parking, but Hans, Caleb, Nate, and John all got the memo. You gotta really, you get really good with those. You get to where you can pick up little sticks. It'd be a shame if he hit that cherry bandura. Ah, don't do it. He's coming back with one more timber. Boom! Like I got a question for you. Rockwood, is that like people that customize these? I don't know. We need, we need to do some research to find out. I don't know if bandura is the name from. GMC or is that the outfitter name? So we need to get that out of there. So we'll test out Alan's joystick skills. There you go, Al. You know, we use these for the snowcat because the snowcat tracks are so wide. We want the snowcat, like, snowcat tracks, snowcat track cats loaded. They angle down. Um, that's why we like the higher boards with snowcat. Not for this, though. Not for this. What if we put boards in the middle? No, no, stupid idea. Are the skinnier ones, I mean? We're gonna go get those. I remember you got power lines above you. I'm gonna rip them out. Well, I just don't want you to get hurt, Hans. I'm gonna like, rip the power lines out. I care about you very, very much. I appreciate that. Uh, so, so be careful. Be very careful. Hey, Hans. You have power line, Hans. All right, back it out. Watch the van, watch the 
the van. Where are we going? To my house, the junkyard. So we're gonna go get some junk. Thinner wood pieces. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll come in. Hold on, wait, wait. There'll be a yellow car, then go. I know. <laughs> the Corvette. Bam. One, two, yellow three, car. start now, start yeah, now. Buy semi truck. <laughs> These are probably some of the most useful things we have. Ooh. These are good for getting stuff stuck out of mud. The equipment. When I cut them up and make blocks out of them. No matter how many I make, we always need more. Big old sliver right in your belly. Oh, the big old things. Okay, hold on. All right. Secure the Coke. <laughs> it's yours. We're going to FitCon, we're all fat. <laughs> I've gone from a, basically a 31 to 32 waist. I'm actually down to a 33. Fat. I went to Walmart and got some Wranglers last night that are 33s, and I'm like, I haven't been there for a good 10 years. You know what, I think we don't need to cut them. I think we can adjust them just. Run them? Yeah. Nice. To put some of those timbers I brought underneath here so it doesn't flip off. Well, it gets uh, super close to the wheel, but not uh, touching. This one has one broken. It's one broken. Well, 13.6 is residential, that's yeah. power lines, yeah. and most of the bridges and stuff on in Salt Lake are 16 feet. <laughs> you don't want to know, man. 16 feet? 16 feet? Yeah, 16 foot. What's legal? Try it again, one more no. time. This Let's only go goes to 15. 14 The bridges four. are like 15 and 16, so this is too tall. Yep. Yeah. Trail it down a little bit, but... Hey, we're still. Put little ones on, lower it, haul it there, and put it back on over there. Haul it skits here. Over there. Flip the shit out it's got to go two, basically two feet down. So two feet down means right to here. I mean, we have like that's like onto the stock tire. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not stock tire. I mean onto the uh, the hub itself. I mean, we can put the trailer down a little bit. We can air down. I mean, we can do some things and get a few out of the hands. We'd probably get another two feet out, but that's about it. But you're going to be close on the trailer. So I think we'll do that. I'll pull the stems out and just deflate them a ton. Huh? Six. Maybe six. Oh, I don't know. Alan had it. Let's do it, Alan. Right there. Oh, 
available. Four inches. Way to let air out of these shocks. No, it looks impressive. This thing is pull the valve stems on all the tires to let them deflate to a certain point. Obviously, we don't want to go too much, but I mean, that gave us four or five inches. Watch your back. So right now, how it sits, we're too high. First thing we're going to do is deflate the tires. That'll bring it down four or five inches, maybe. From there, I'd say more like six to eight inches. From there, the suspension right now is obviously up real high. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pull it down low. We're gonna do that by, by taking chains around the body and just cinching the whole bus down. That hopefully drops it another four or five inches, just depending on how much we can get those springs, suspension, press. So between tires deflating, pressing the bus suspension down, that should buy us like a foot and a half maybe. That's when you tell them somebody else did it, bud. Well, somebody else did. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you should have said that. There's nothing to hook there, man. Right here, bud, look. I get that. Cowbunga, bud. Cow, 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 cow bunga. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cowbunga, bud. Sorry. Give the best hook up sometimes. Even a broken clock still today. Huh? Wait, Damn, same right, thing. right, close. Oh boy, I got everything loaded up. All the shit's loaded up. Get in there, cowboy. I had to deflate the tires a little bit to get it on the trailer and have it be low enough to get underneath the overpasses. And we brought the uh, air compressor with us. And Al's getting the hose ready to pump these tires back up. Almost got everything ready to unload. Uh, we've unhooked from the semi truck, ready to get this into the shop. How far do we have to deflate our tires? All the way, basically. It was uh, way too high before, but we were able to get a foot and a half or so out and then uh, ratcheting down got another half a foot so that got us down uh, legal
Somebody put. That's how long the bolts were. These two. Wow. All right, we've got one more tire to inflate, and we are ready to haul this thing off of there and get it into the convention center. Um, I don't know what door they're putting it in, but it must be at least 16 feet tall. So stay tuned. You want to fly this drone? Oh, you want me to fly the drone, dude? You know what's going to happen? It's going to go, oh, and it'll go straight to that school bus coming down the road. <laughs> How do I get this up? Oh, 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 let it be known, let it be known, let it be known we missed the shot. Who wants to ride to school? Really though, if it's about 20 people, you and 19 of your friends were invited to come out here to take a ride with the Freedom Bus, would you? Might just happen. We're still in the sky, we're just hanging. Where are we? Aw oh, man, hands! I promised Steven! <laughs> oh no, we're fine, we're right there. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. man, let hands fly the drone for two seconds. Oh, no, it scares me like that. I'm gonna clean this up. So you guys just wanna leave the terror star with me? Leave the terror star with me, try back with sparks, and I'll clean this up and get it tidied up. I've never worked inside longer than five minutes, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Al? Well, we did pretty good. We only lost an exhaust, but uh, that's pretty good for the day. No overpasses hit? No, no. no pullovers? No nothing? No, everything rolled off uh, just as it was planned. Awesome. Freedom Bus is in place and ready to party. So come on down to FitCon, see it for yourself. Check out the hands will be here. Heavy yeah, D will be down. here. Diesel Dave will be here. The muscle will be here. Well, by the time this airs, FitCon will probably be over. Yeah, Still Diesel so Dave up. was here. Heavy <laughs> D was here. Hands was here. We were here. The Freedom Bus was here. So just so you have proof of it, we were all here, but Hopefully you came to FitCon, had a good time. Hopefully we saw you there, hopefully.